no one thought a guy like Nick Persons would settle down. But now he's a family man. Ooh. There's something that we really need to talk about this morning. Oh. Oh. Who's about to get a big surprise. Coco, get down. <laughs> Honey, I'm pregnant. So they're leaving the city behind for a new life in the country. Ew, what's that smell? It smells like oxygen. What was the experience like the second time around? I mean, these guys seem like probably one big happy family. Yeah, it was fun. You know, uh, I always like sequels because it's not that struggle of finding the character and all these things that... that and the you, chemistry's there. Yeah, the chemistry's already there. We bonded, uh, you know, the cast bonded so much in the first one that it was like, you know, big old family reunion in the second one. Yeah. So it's fun to work with everybody again. How is it working with Ice Cube? You'd worked with him before. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a really good actor, great producer. Um, he's a friend. I love him. And he's oh. amazing. So he's so funny. funny. <laughs> and so focused. He's a great role model, too. So take yeah. notes from him. Tell us about your character. He's, uh... He lives in a town that's a, a tiny, tiny little suburb where Cube relocates his family to. And every time Cube picks up the phone to call somebody for help, whether it's in, in any way to fix this house, I show up. Tell Magic Chuck Dog said, holla much respect, you the man. Did you have a favorite scene? Probably the kayaking scene, because um, with Nick falling in the water and seeing Chuck on that giant surfboard, whatever it was, it was just... My favorite scene is the raccoon scene. You know, I love the scene with the raccoon. Um, I love the bats. No, obviously there are no bats. They drop that in blue screen. So we had to react to all these bats flying around. So that was fun. Guess I showed him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's right. You might want to close that flu, though. Oh! Ah! Ah! You guys all look like you had so much fun making this film. There was just people falling and tripping and all that kind of stuff. Did you guys just have a blast on set? Look, Cube Cube sets up these these sets um, so that you can succeed, so you can thrive, and that's hardly ever the case. And so to 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 walk onto a set where the producer slash star has thought of everything and set it up so the actors can just flourish. That's the greatest. Do you enjoy doing films that your younger fans can enjoy? Yeah, I do. You know. Uh... I enjoy all kind of films, but I feel good that I, I'm finally able to connect with my youngest audience. And, and I, you know, when you have a seven-year-old kid coming up to you talking about how much they like Friday, and then you think about all the stuff that's in Friday, you know, you want to get them something that they can really watch. Can we expect a third one? You know, I keep hearing that rumor. I don't know. I think it depends on how many um, viewers we get on this one. If there is, uh, and I'm invited, I'm in. At least the table's strong. I can fix that. Are we done yet? Honey, what was that?